<gasps> oh my god. No way. Holy. What? No way. No, no freaking way, you guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another Fishing Whoppers video. In last video, we mentioned that uh, Oregon was experiencing a lot of forest fires and the air quality was so, so bad. Like, it was beyond toxic levels. <laughs> yeah, it was so bad. And we were actually on level one of evacuation area, but um, thank God it did not reach us. And we feel so, so bad for the people who lost their homes. Some of the people lost lives. It's really devastating and... A lot of the places that we like to fish and like to go um, have burned um, a few of them. I, I know North Fork in that area up by, uh, past Essicate yeah. is, is, is devastated by fires. A lot of places uh, are, are probably not going to be there anymore or at least not for a while and it's, it's really sad. Yeah, it's going to take a while for everything to get repaired and get back to normal but yeah, it's uh, really sad. It really sucks that it happened and our air quality was terrible and it looks like the wind started going more east and didn't even hit the other states, you know, even it reached Illinois. It's, it's so insane. We're in Astoria right now. We're staying at KOA and it's really beautiful out. It's been raining, but it, it's been pretty warm out. It's not too bad. Um, so, so far rain stopped and we're planning on going crabbing and last night, we got here last night, we did some fishing at the Fort Stevens Park and we actually did pretty good so we'll show it to you in a little bit here and today our plan is just probably go try to do some crabbing at Seaside um, so we can catch some crab, if we do, uh, we're gonna do a catch and cook uh, we haven't had a crab in a while and Dungeons crabs are expensive at the store so it would be fun to catch some. Alright you guys, we want to thank everybody who's been subscribed to our channel. You guys are awesome. Your support is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell so you don't miss any of our future content. You guys are awesome and let's get this video started. Pulled on it really good. No fish. Could be just the tiny ones. We'll try this again. Careful, watch it. <sighs> there you go, we caught a tiny one. It's a little punchy. Cute. Nice job, Lily. We caught a fish. <laughs> Tiny one. <laughs> All right, he can. See. They are a little sharp, so you, if you're gonna hold hold on to them, the fins are really sharp. So just be careful. I'm getting a bite. Oh, did I get it? No. You got it. Oh. <laughs> they probably got. Oh no, I do have fish on here. It's not moving, but I do have one. It's a perch. <laughs> another tiny one. The perch are fun to catch. They're actually really good to eat. Perch they were bigger size. No trout yet. Uh, we are just catching perch as always. Whenever we come uh, to Fort Stevens Park we just catch a bunch of perch. Uh, we did catch trout here I think last year. We haven't been here in a while so I'm glad um, so we just decided to come to Fort Stevens Park. We we're staying at KOA and it's beautiful out. It was supposed to rain all day, but so far the weather is great and I think 
Lily caught another fish. She's been catching a bunch of them, just non-stop. That's a bigger size one at least. That's a, that's a good size. Okay, I'm gonna go help Lily and I'll be back. Lily caught another one. Another protein. You can actually catch a pretty big um, catfish here too with worms. There you go, buddy. Swim away. Let me adjust it warm. All right, what was I? Um, yeah, so beautiful night. <laughs> it's getting um, kind of late in the day. And we are gonna go back to our cabin, make some dinner. And tomorrow, tomorrow we are planning on going to Seaside. I found a bridge um, on the 12th Street where you can catch crabs. So tomorrow we're planning crabbing and then we might go fishing tomorrow. I don't know, depends on the weather. If we catch crabs, we're gonna do catch and cook. That'd be so awesome. I haven't had crab in a while, especially fresh, ca fresh caught crab. So, danger zone over here. <laughs> Oh man, this is so fun. Uh, we're not catching fish, but we're having a blast. So, yeah, all right, well, we'll go catch more perch. Maybe we'll catch a trout. Catch another one. I, I, I didn't even finish setting my rod up, and you just keep catching fish after fish. Awesome. <laughs> is that the same one? Maybe. I'm gonna set your rod up. I don't know if your rod, I can do it. Do you want to give it a kiss? You're supposed to kiss them each time you catch them, no? <laughs> All right. It was on. I'm helping Lily here, and Jig's reeling fish in. Got it. Oh, oh my God! No way! Oh my God, Holy! <laughs> what? No way! No, no freaking way, you guys! Oh my God! What? That was so unexpected. It, 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 hold on. He's gonna kill me. He's so big. Wow, this is like a picture time. You guys, look at this fish. This is so, so, so cool. This is a, this is like a trophy. Awesome. Thank right. you, Lord. Here. That's enough for tonight. You guys, we just got a huge trout. This is so exciting. Uh, we were catching like tiny perch here and there, and then all of a sudden, we get this bite and Jake rolls it in. It was light because the fish was like swimming towards him. So it felt like, um, you know, it was like tiny fish or something, but it was a huge trout. How exciting it is. So we're going back to our KOA and going to clean it, cook it, eat it. <laughs> and tomorrow morning we'll go get some crabs, hopefully. So this is an exciting trip. Yes, I just finished filleting the fish. Oh my gosh, it's so red. It's so, so beautiful. We're gonna cook it right now. It's really dark out. You can't see anything. <laughs> but we're still gonna cook it tonight. Can't wait to try it. But I'm ready to fry these beauties. Can't see anything. I can't either. Can't wait to try this. Looks good. And you guys, the fish is ready. It looks awesome. I'm gonna probably stop recording for the night. I'm gonna go enjoy this meal and we'll see you out in the morning. Good night. Look how big the fish. We'll already smell it. No, I'm good. Slap in the face with it. Smells good. Um, why don't we just see what this does first? <clears throat> That's good, probably for now. So we are right now on a 12th Street Seaside Bridge doing some crabbing. Just cast out our trap with some really stinky bait. Um, the other day we bought this little trap for a fishing rod. We brought a rod with us. We're gonna test it out, see how it works. It was like $9 at the fisherman's store. Um, so I've seen people use it. It's kind of 
cool looking thing you have a trap right here and then you have these loops we need to untie it first but basically you cast it out the bait out there and then when you reel it in these loops like tighten up like get tight and it's supposed to catch the crabs by their legs we'll give it a try never used this thing before but people are catching crabs it's busy over here um, so some guy caught a pretty good sized crab there are like ropes all over all over the place crab traps everywhere I'm gonna cast it out not cast it I'm just gonna drop it So weird. I think it dropped. Yep. Yeah, I'll just get some line out. We'll wait a little bit and let's see. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. Look at it. Oh wow. Go on. Go on. Go look at it. I gotta get eggs in the camera. Yeah. They look like pretty good size. They're small, I think. Actually, no, they're small. What? They're not up to the five thing. Ow, he's really holding on to me. Balance keeper, right? It just has to be. Yeah, see, look. It's a keeper. Yeah. That's a lady, so she's gonna. Go back. That's a girl. A bunch of girls. All girls. <laughs> All right. I'm going to check this thing again. <laughs> Nothing. I don't know how this thing works. It was cheap, but well, I don't think it's. The goal is that they come, they get close to, it and they try to get in it, and then you, when you reel it, it catches their legs. Right. We're coming back to check on our crab trap. We were, uh, we went back to the resort for a little bit, and. Gave yeah. it two hours. We wanted to, our trap to sit here for a couple hours. Looks like our trap's still there. Nobody, nobody took it. Um, so we're gonna reel it in and see if we can. We got some crabs. It's not. What, oh well. We'll try it again some other time. All right. Let's see what we got. And there's nothing in there. <laughs> really? Oh well, it was a good try. Well, that's a bummer. We didn't catch any crabs. Oops. Oopsie, hold on. My person not talking. So yeah, well, earlier we caught four crabs and they had to be all females and they were actually keeping like keeper size, but yeah. too bad we couldn't keep them. So we're gonna head back to the resort and make some dinner and we need to check out tomorrow at 11. We might go hang out at Cannon Beach or something. I wanna see the ocean on this trip. <laughs> the weather's been great. It hasn't been raining today much, so it's a little chilly, but it's, we're having a great time. You know, we caught fish yesterday, you know, caught some crabs today and it's been a really fun trip. You know, I'm glad we had a chance to get out and thanks to our friend that, for inviting us over for uh, to stay at the KOA cabins. It's, it's a really neat place. We were there last year too and it was kind of nice to get out of Portland for a little bit with all the smoky weather. Um, the weather here is a lot, I mean, the, the air here is much more clean. So, yeah. Um, well, as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave us comments, give us likes, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.